What's up, YouTube Ground P here, bringing you another video, another Cydia tweak and app video. Actually, this is going to be my third one, I believe. And I'm going to just bring you guys some four uh, tweaks and apps that I found. Um, you know, I, I like some of them, but some of them are I find that are pretty use. I mean, useless. And uh, like I said, I thought I'd show them to you guys anyway because I thought they were they're pretty cool, but they're like I said, it's not they're not very useful. So uh, the first one I actually covered in my last video. The reason I'm bringing it back is because they actually uh, added some stuff to it and uh, instead of two tweaks like I covered last video it was a compass uh, for maps and speed for maps and actually this one's called dashboard for maps and it's all in one to uh, one app so I thought I'd show it to you guys so let's get into that I'm gonna go into maps as you can see there's nothing on there so uh, now I go into here and it showed dashboard and as you can see it's got the compass the speed and then the elevation now you guys the speed and the compass and all of it it actually works I tried it you know today earlier a few hours ago and I mean it's pretty accurate as far as the speed you know you can change it around like that and like I said you guys I mean if you use maps a lot I guess you can you know you can use it um, I don't recommend driving and looking at it but you know like I said I just I, I tested it out and it actually works, you guys. So, again, that's a dashboard for maps. Now, let's get into the second one. The second one's going to be Android Delete. I'm sure some of you have already seen that. I find it to be a pretty pretty useless um, app, but I thought I'd show it to you guys anyways because I thought it was kind of cool. As you can see, when you want to delete an app, you just hold down like you normally would. Instead of having the X on the corner to delete, you just drag and drop into the recycle bin right there, you guys. So again, that's Android Delete, and basically all it does is just, you know, gives you that look with the recycle bin instead of just, you know, deleting with the little X up in the left corner there. So again, Android Delete, and I'm going to show you guys the next one. <clears throat> the next one's Pop Pod. Basically what it does is for your iPod, it, uh, it gives it a little bit more, uh, it gives you a little more options as far as when you're playing your, your iPod from the lock screen. Um, so you go into the iPod or whatever and you're playing some music. I'm not going to play it because of the copyright issues, but as you just uh, hit the home button twice. And you can see right there, you know, it actually shows the album artwork there. And you can actually control the volume here with these two buttons there. And then obviously play and next and, you know, things like that. So it actually works, you guys. Make sure you, you know, try that out if you like it. So... And you can go into settings and uh, mess with the how you want the music to, uh, as far as shuffling the music. And I'll show you guys that really quick here. You go into settings. There it is. You know, shuffle mode by song or album. How you know which uh, how you want to activate it. You know, it's got a bunch of different options, and obviously to turn it on and off. So, again, guys, that's Pop Pod there. Make sure you check it out to sit in city if you like it. All right, you guys. So the last week I have for you guys today, or it's going to be called Back Forward List for Safari. Back Forward List for Safari. Now this one's my favorite. You know, it's actually really useful, and I think you know anybody with an iPhone, um, iPad, iPod should have this. You know, for your Safari, I think it's it's pretty cool and it's very useful, unlike some of the others. And uh, so basically, I'll show you guys what that does. When you're in Safari, all right, you know, instead of going into your history, if you want to go, you know, back in, uh, as far as what, you know, what websites you were looking at, or maybe, you know, the day before you were looking at something and you don't remember the website, you know, all you got to do is hit the, hold the back arrow, and it's going to bring up your, you know, your back list. Obviously, you know, I, I don't have much in there, but, you know, if you know, depending on how many, how many websites you've been in, you know, obviously, um, it'll it'll show them all here, you guys. It'll have a list of the websites you've been to, and I gotta do, you know, obviously click on it. It'll take you back there. <clears throat> there you go. Now, obviously, if you want to go forward, you do the same thing. You hold it, and there it is. It's gonna bring it and show you everything you've looked at. The forward list. All I gotta do is click on it. And it's gonna take you there. Now, if there's nothing to go forward to, as you can see, you know, the forward arrow is not gonna light up. And obviously the back one is, so you hold it down, and it takes you there again. So now you guys, again, that's called a 
back forward list for Safari. Like I said, that's probably my favorite one out of these four that I'm showing you guys today. Now, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys think it's, you know, if you're going to use it, if you think it's very useful. And those are the four I, I got for today, you guys. I'm going to be bringing you some more. Uh, let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> Make sure you, you comment, subscribe. And I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more videos. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys want to want me to review or any apps you want to see, any games. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later.